Big news from the NASCAR Cup Series this week. John Hunter Nemechek will drive the Legacy number 42 Cup car for 2024. So I want to get both of you first thoughts. And was this who everyone expected to be in that seat next year? Uh, well, expectations are one thing. Getting the deal done is another. Um, John Hunter's Saturday performance has been unbelievable. He's definitely going to be a contender for the championship. So did I expect it? Yes, but I really applaud Legacy, Toyota, and John Hunter to find something, Parker, that they could all agree on or believe in, right? Because John Hunter is getting into this seat expecting to run well. Um, so Legacy just continues really to trend up, right? Jimmy Johnson on board, Toyota next year. The storylines are long. Congratulations, John Hunter. He is who I expected, but I wasn't sure if they could get everybody on the same page. Right. And I think that's a key point to bring up because, you know, I spoke to John Hunter just a couple weeks ago about this. I said, hey, what are you thinking for next year? And he said, well, you know, the things you're hearing are true. And he said, I have some decisions to make. And I think that's odd for some people to hear for an Xfinity Series driver who's winning, contending for a championship to maybe have cup offers and think that's a decision. I think you pointed out his decision was, is this a program that I think has a chance to go out and be competitive? Because if you remember back why he did this in the first place, you know, when he took this bet on himself to lead the cup series in 2020, he went back to trucks to win and prove he could win. And then he got into Xfinity here and now he's winning and contending for a championship. And so it's sort of this, this, you know, climb back up that he's had to do. And so I think it was a really tough decision for him uh, to make sure that it's the right decision, but it's the one we all had heard about, and I, uh, I guess he found a reason to think it, it was the right one. Parker, you touched on it. This isn't the first time we'll see John Hunter Nemechek in a Cup Series car, so how will this be different from his first go at the Cup Series back in 2020, and does he bring into anything to the team that he didn't have before? Well, it's a great question, and I think you know this. that's a really key thing to point out because if you look at what he did with Front Row Motorsports in that season, he had speed, he had some early great results, but John Hunter as a driver was a young, aggressive driver that made a lot, you know, mistakes and was having a very typical rookie season in the NASCAR Cup Series. And I think that weighed on him a little bit, right? And he was with a team that doesn't have factory support, right? So that's a tough thing at the cup level. And so you look at that situation and you think, okay, that maybe is what forced him to think, I got to go back. I got to work on myself as a driver get better, prove I can win again, and then move myself back up here. And I think when he looks at this Legacy Motor Club, you know, this to him is something that's being built that has factory support that changes that narrative of what his first entry to the Cup Series was. Plus, he's a more experienced driver and a driver that has proven time and time again he can win. Will the results be different? Um, impossible to know. Is he bringing something different? He absolutely is. Let's talk about what makes a great Cup driver. There is this anomaly of guys that find it right away. Jimmy Johnson, one in his rookie year, turned out pretty good. Kyle Busch, early success. But we're talking about instant Hall of Fame type careers. When you look at the bandwidth of the Cup Garage, 100 starts, mid to late 20s, a little bit of experience in other series, that's the recipe that might not guarantee superstar status, but I think it guarantees staying power. Uh, let's look at William Byron. I mean, look at Christopher Bell. Look at this playoff field in the Cup Series currently. There's a lot of that style driver, and I think everyone's path is different. Parker Kligerman took a different path. We forget Parker uh, was in, you know, higher level equipment at Penske and has circled back around. Look at the opportunity he has. So I think this opportunity for John Hunter is perfect. I actually think going to Gibbs or Hendrick is a lot, and it would put him right on the radar. I think his resume and Legacy's resume and the building of the two together is going to be a perfect mix. Thanks for watching NASCAR America Motor Mouths presented by Toyota. Hi, I'm Parker Kligerman. For more access like this from Pit Road, be sure to click and subscribe to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube channel.